How's it going? I'm Tim. I'm a photographer and video maker in the UK. Now this week I've been thinking about doing a colour changing t-shirt and putting patterns on clothing and it's kind of occurred to me it's not quite as simple um, maybe as you first think. So in this video we're going to talk about making a t-shirt change colour. It's way easier uh, to pick green out uh, if you've got you know human colour skin. So I've got my green t-shirt on, uh, not by coincidence. The obvious way to do this is to use a colour picker with a uh, chroma key and just grab it and that just masks out the green um, and you can put whatever you want behind it. Problem is if you do that you lose all the detail and the shading and the any sort of you know, fabric creases and things. It looks super false. So I got to thinking okay well, what about if we uh, use the mask and either use that to then transfer onto an effect to overlay. And of course, if you can change colour, you can also um, add some crazy patterns. Right, so I'm going to use After Effects to edit this, but you could use Premiere, uh, you can use anything that allows you to chroma key. So I think probably Final Cut Pro, uh, even uh, I, I'm guessing even Vegas and stuff probably has something. So you can probably find a way to apply this to your own editing software. So let's go to the computer and have a little look. Okay, so we're in After Effects. I'm going to start by duplicating my layer. Um, I want one layer to be affected by key light as a green screen and one layer below that's not affected. So I've turned off that lower layer and let's grab the key light with suppressor and drag it across onto that layer. I use the colour picker, choose a sort of medium green from that t-shirt. I'm going to go to screen matte. Uh, now screen matte is a good view, it means you can see uh, anything that's pure black um, will be see-through, anything pure white will be opaque. So going to drag these around uh, the clip black and clip white um, what we're looking for is a pure black t-shirt um, and a pure white logo and background now sometimes you need a bit more um, playing around than this but for this example um, this is probably good enough um, you'll also notice we go through my, my, my eyes and some of the background things have, have also been affected obviously you just um, mask those out separately so scrolling down, we're going to turn on the advanced spill suppressor just to tidy those edges a little bit. Um, and then we've got uh, our original layer and now we've got our mask layer. So we're going to duplicate the lower layer and then tidy these up. So I've got a unaffected lower layer uh, below my mask. And at this first half of the clip, we've got an unaffected layer that we can just play through as normal. Now with that second layer um, in the second half, we want to be able to change the colour. So I'm going to grab a hue saturation and drop it on there. And now the hue saturation, uh, we use colourise. Um, if you were to take off that top mask layer, uh, you'd see the whole layer is being affected um, like a colour tint. Obviously we can only see the t-shirt because of the mask. Um, I have often find you need to use the um, the lightness and bring it back to a minus number um, that just gives you a slightly more realistic uh, colour without overdoing the saturation. And we've got this a colour change so we've got a uh, key at the start and we'll put a key at the end and just drag it through so there's 360 uh, steps so you take it nearly to there and then we've got a rotation through all the colours in the rainbow as it plays through. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, uh, give me a like, a subscribe, hit the bell, any of that good stuff. Uh, but most importantly, have an amazing week and I'll see you next time. See ya.